what, what are the types of questions that, you know, the average person might not think to ask that you should ask a potential girlfriend, boyfriend, mate, mm. husband, wife? No, oh, I love that question because I address it in my book. Okay, listen, guys, no more assholes. Women love it. Men love it. Women love it because it teaches them how to find the right partner because I use a two-step vetting process, which is first vetting for mindset because if you fall for somebody who's a selfish short-term thinker in that moment, which there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, I've certainly been in selfish short-term thinking frame of mind. I just wanted to have fun. I didn't want a relationship. So if you are in a generous long-term thinking frame of mind, which means you're ready for a relationship, falling for somebody compatible who is in a selfish short-term thinking frame of mind means you're gonna disappoint yourself because they want to be where they are and you trying to pull them where you want them to be means eventually you're just gonna go, oh, he's such an asshole. So make sure that you're finding somebody compatible who's in the same state of mind that you are. But I also include questions in there because the second phase is finding somebody compatible, which means peeling back the layers, really figuring out who they are. And there's 15 questions that I have in here that help you dive into them. And the thing is, every question can create more questions. So you can really peel back a lot of layers. Like, what was the most interesting thing about your childhood? Ask them that. Well, who was your favorite teacher? Why? Why is such a great secondary question? What's your favorite book? What's your favorite movie? Why is such a revealing question? Because it gets them to start thinking about themselves. And I like to say, I love a conversation with somebody because even I discover new things about myself in a conversation if somebody is curious enough to really keep delving into the answers that I give and, and sourcing out more information from those answers, getting the whys over and over again to find out who I am. So if somebody says they like gardening, what kind of gardening do you like? Is it vegetable gardening? Is it flowers? Do you like perennials that you can just plant once and then they come back and you just tend them? Do you like a wild garden or does it, do you like everything to be super symmetrical? Do you like annuals? Do you like flowers more than anything? Do you try to attract certain animals with the garden that you plant? Do you compost? Find out what their passion is by really delving deep into the layers.